Welcome to another enlightening episode of the Pivot Pathways podcast, where we explore the transformative power of personal growth and self-discovery. I'm your host, and today we're diving deep into the essence of healing, love, and the profound wisdom that comes from understanding our inner selves. Get ready for a journey that might just change the way you see the world and yourself. Imagine a world where every interaction is filled with genuine recognition and compassion. A world where we truly see each other, not just as faces in a crowd, but as fellow travelers on this incredible journey of life. This isn't just a utopian dream, my friends. It's a reality we can create, one connection at a time. And today we're going to explore how we can make this vision a reality in our everyday lives. Let me take you back to a moment that changed everything for a 10-year-old girl in India. Picture this, a train station crowded with people and a young child with her face pressed against the window, heart heavy with the impending departure from a land she'd grown to love. The hustle and bustle of the station fades into the background as her eyes scan the crowd, taking in her last glimpses of this beloved country. But then, something magical happens. Through the sea of faces, she spots a figure walking with purpose, none other than Mahatma Gandhi himself. Can you imagine the electricity in the air? The great leader, known for his nonviolent resistance and profound wisdom, moving through the crowd with his simple attire and walking stick. As Gandhi reaches down to accept a flower from a little girl, his eyes suddenly lock with our young protagonist. In that fleeting moment, a spark ignites, a connection so profound that it would shape her understanding of love and human connection for decades to come. This girl, who would grow up to become a healer and teacher, learned in that instant the power of truly seeing another person. This story reminds me of a book that I think you'll find fascinating. It's called The Power of Kindness, The Unexpected Benefits of Leading a Compassionate Life by Piero Ferrucci. This book explores how simple acts of kindness can transform our lives and the world around us. It's a beautiful companion to our discussion today, offering practical ways to cultivate the kind of love and recognition we're talking about. Ferrucci delves into qualities like honesty, warmth, and loyalty, showing how they contribute to a life of kindness and fulfillment. Now, let's talk about healing. We often think of healing as something that happens to us, something external. We go to doctors, take medicines, undergo treatments, all important, of course. But what if I told you that all healing comes from within? It's a radical idea, isn't it? But it's one that has the power to change everything. Think about it this way. We have pH levels on the outside of our bodies and on the inside. Our physical health often depends on maintaining the right balance. But the real magic, the true healing, happens when we tap into the love that resides within us. It's a powerful force, one that we often underestimate or overlook entirely. You see, when we talk about dominion over the earth, we've often misinterpreted it as dominance. We've taken this beautiful planet and done what we pleased with it, often with disastrous consequences. We've polluted the air, contaminated the waters, and pushed countless species to the brink of extinction. But what if we approached our role on this planet with love instead of domination? What if we saw ourselves as caretakers rather than conquerors? This shift in perspective isn't just about environmental conservation, though that's certainly part of it. It's about recognizing our interconnectedness with all of life. It's about understanding that when we heal ourselves, we contribute to healing the world around us. And when we approach the world with love, we open ourselves up to receiving love in return. This brings us to an intriguing concept, the five L's of life. These aren't just random words thrown together. They're a framework for understanding the core elements of a fulfilling, purposeful existence. Let's break them down, shall we? The first two, life and love, are inseparable. They're like a pregnant mother and her child, one unit, sharing everything. Just as a seed needs light and water to grow, we need love to truly live and thrive. Think about it. Have you ever met someone who was truly alive but didn't have love in their life? It's almost impossible to imagine. Life without love is mere existence. But life infused with love, that's when we truly begin to flourish. It's when we find our purpose, our passion, our reason for being. Love gives life its color, its vibrancy, its meaning. The third L is laughter. But here's the catch. 
Laughter without love can be cruel. It can tear families apart and even start wars. We've all experienced or witnessed this kind of laughter, the mocking kind, the belittling kind. It's the laughter that makes someone feel small, insignificant, or foolish. But laughter with love? That's pure joy, my friends. It's the kind of happiness that lights up your whole being. It's infectious, healing, and unifying. When we laugh with love, we create bonds, ease tensions, and bring light to even the darkest situations. It's a powerful tool for connection and healing. Next, we have labor. Without love, work is just drudgery. It's clock watching, counting down the minutes until we can escape. But labor infused with love becomes bliss. It's why artists create, why musicians play, why we do the things that make our hearts sing. When we love what we do, we can work tirelessly and still feel energized. This doesn't mean every moment of work will be blissful, but when we approach our labor with love, whether that's our career, our hobbies, or our daily chores, we infuse it with meaning and purpose. We're no longer just going through the motions, we're creating, contributing, making a difference. And finally, we have listening. Listening without love is just empty noise. It's hearing without understanding, without empathy. But when we listen with love, we gain understanding. We connect on a deeper level, seeing beyond words to the heart of what's being said. In our fast-paced world, true listening has become a rare art. We're often so busy formulating our response that we fail to truly hear what others are saying. But when we listen with love, we create space for real connection, for healing, for growth. These five L's, life, love, laughter, labor, and listening, they're not just words. They're a blueprint for a well-lived life. They're the secret ingredients to healing, to connection, to finding our true humanity. When we embrace these principles, we begin to see the world and ourselves in a new light. Now you might be wondering, how can I apply this in my own life? Well, it starts with recognizing the light in others. Imagine you're walking down a dark path with a flashlight. You can only see as far as your light reaches. But sometimes, off to the side, you might notice a faint glimmer. If you turn your light towards it, that glimmer can grow into something brilliant. That's what happens when we truly see each other. When we take a moment to smile at a stranger, to really listen to a friend, to offer a kind word to someone who seems lost, we're shining our light on their glimmer. And in doing so, we both grow brighter. This reminds me of another book that I think you'll find valuable. It's called The Book of Joy, Lasting Happiness in a Changing World, by His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Archbishop Desmond Tutu. In this beautiful dialogue between two spiritual giants, they explore how to find joy in the face of life's inevitable suffering. Their wisdom aligns perfectly with our discussion today, emphasizing the importance of compassion, connection, and recognizing our shared humanity. Remember, love is the teacher, and love is the essence of healing. As we help others, we help ourselves. It's a beautiful cycle of giving and receiving that keeps the energy of life flowing. When we approach the world with love, we open ourselves up to receiving love in return. It's not always easy, especially when we're faced with challenges or negativity. But it's in these moments that choosing love becomes most powerful. So my dear listeners, I challenge you to look for those moments of connection in your daily life. Seek out opportunities to recognize the humanity in others. Practice the five L's. Live with love, laugh with joy, work with passion, and listen with understanding. Start small if you need to. Maybe it's holding the door for someone with a genuine smile. Maybe it's really listening to your partner when they tell you about their day. Maybe it's finding joy in a task you usually dread. And as you do, remember that you have the power to heal, to transform, to make a difference. You don't need to change the whole world overnight. Start with one interaction, one moment of genuine connection. That's how we build a world of love and understanding, one relationship at a time. Before we wrap up, I want to remind you of the books I mentioned earlier, The Power of Kindness by Piero Ferrucci and The Book of Joy by the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu. These are wonderful resources for anyone looking to deepen their understanding of compassion and its impact on our lives. Give them a read, buy link is in episode description, and let me know what you think in our next episode. As we come to the end of our time together, I want to leave you with this thought. Your legacy is not just what you leave behind when you're gone. 
It's the love you share every day, the connections you make, the light you shine on others. It's in the way you live, laugh, work, and listen. It's in how you recognize and honor the humanity in those around you. So go out there and make your legacy one of love, kindness, and genuine human connection. Embrace the five L's in your daily life. Look for opportunities to shine your light on others' glimmers. And remember, even in the darkest times, love has the power to heal, to transform, to illuminate. Thank you for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and healing. Until next time, keep pivoting towards your best self. And remember, love is what really matters. This is the Pivot Pathways Podcast, signing off. Stay curious, stay compassionate, and keep spreading that love.